looks very congested, but you're you're kind of saying, no, don't worry about it. I've been, I've been there. You know your way around the track. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this track is uh, quite big, quite wide, not as a uh, small track like in Johor. Johor is really a bit smaller compared to here. So I think there shouldn't be any problem. Right the way down, the 30th qualifier from the Felbert PB racing team was Saiful Isman uh, Ahmad. Even he posted a time of 149.077. Uh, average speed 130.862 kilometers per hour. So we'll just get the formation lap when I'll confirm the names and the numbers to really look out for. As they just get off, Yamamoto on the extreme right will obviously be hoping to put pressure on Apiwat, who's the overall championship leader and who's alongside him on the front row of the grid. So Yamamoto on pole, Galang Hendra, fabulous pole, uh, second place for him. Apiwat from Thailand, the championship leader. Voropong, the 30-year-old, Tanaka and Anupab on the second row. Emmanuel Putra, Philando Herdian and Hashim Zani Adil make it an all-Indonesian third row. Moving a little bit further down, and Somkat from Thailand. Muzike, the fastest of the Malaysian contingent, and Pitapong Lu Boingpeng will be hoping to get better than a uh, 12th uh, position. Ahmed Afif alongside Sitisak and Minamoto. Uh, Rei Ratukore, Yosuke Nakamura, and Kazma Daniel uh, complete the sixth row of the grid. Hendry Ansar from Indonesia. Azroy Hakim, Gupita Krishna who uh, I keep wanting to do well simply because he was such fun in underbones. But Rosmin Fadil alongside uh, Wilman and Fendi Rosley are on row eight, row nine. Isham Satrio, uh, Sharol Amin and Jandir Dedan, a wild card from Indonesia. And completing the ten rows. And Tenko Takasugi, the young lady in 29th place. Saiful Isman Ahmad and Sharif Mahmood actually who didn't get a, a qualification pit lane just waiting for the final tail enders that's Takasugi in the bright orange livery right in the middle red and green flags go off when the lights go off we will be underway 12 laps of the track now we had a what looked to be a quick start now then Yamamoto oh look at Happy Watt then. Happy Watt's yeah, got Happy off Watt. to a flyer yeah, hasn't he had a good start there yeah Happy Watt Wong Tan and that is exactly what Yamamoto did not want to happen. Happy Watt getting off to a real fly and he will go into this second corner with a convincing lead. Yeah, I mean, this definitely you can see the bike will coming back again to him if he can't run away. But so long as he's in the discussion, so long as he's in the battle, you know that Apiwat has got the ability to win because he's won five races out of six so far. And it is Apiwat who leads from Galang Hendra. And Yamamoto is currently in, in fourth, fourth place. place. Clean start from everybody. As you say, it's a wide track, so there's plenty of time to get out of the way. But Apiwat, also Anupab looks like he's made a, a decent start as well. The procession as they come round that sharp left-hand corner, just under four kilometres of uh, racing line, and it's up, uh, Galang Hendra. Is that Galang Hendra who's just taken the lead? Indeed, it is. Yeah, Galang. He's second, huh? Yeah, he's leading the thing. Huh? So Galang Hendra's got himself in the lead, and what a story this would be. Galang takes the right. Ooh. Oh, this. Oh, all right. Oh. That's the cement. Or oh, the cement from yeah, the, uh, from from the, the earlier yeah, oil. Are, no, somebody down. Well, two people are down people already. Down. An early, early pair of casualties. And as we come through, Galang Hendra from Apiwat, from Vodapong, from Yamamoto, Emmanuel Putra in fifth, Somkiat sixth, Philando Herdian, Pitapong in eighth, and Ayumi Tanaka in ninth, Anupab currently in tenth place. And the, the two who've crashed out. It looks like it was one of those Kazma Daniel. Yeah, it looks like a Kazma. Indeed, Kazma Daniel. It's been a wretched couple of days for Kazma Daniel here at Central. But an excellent couple of days for Galang Hendra thus far. And Yamamoto's got himself up into second place. And he's got ahead of Voropong. And Apiwat is going backwards. The championship leader, Apiwat Wong Tanan, who's on bike number 24. Just like to maybe chip away at that overall championship lead. But Yamamoto 
Well, he's under pressure. Yeah, he can, yeah. Happy one is right behind him again, I think. Well, it's Vorapong immediately behind, and Happy what is in that little group following, but Yamamoto leading the way as he has on several occasions so far this season without being able to convert those regular leads into championship victories. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, like, he's not that aggressive, like I said, I told you before, see? So he has to be aggressive, I mean, like, try to win the race. It is indeed Apiwat who has got himself up into second place. Also, Pirapong makes a little move there. Apiwat looking uh, a little bit hesitant and maybe, dare say, a little bit slow on that long straight there. Yeah, but you can see Apiwat now is trying really hard to, you know, tag on him so that he won't run away. You can see Apiwat is really working hard now, you know, and he's looking behind and see whether anybody can follow him to, you know, go in front with him. Well, the answer is everybody's following him, but nobody's really able to compete. That was a little congested. Emmanuel Putra just leading that second little contingent behind the front two of Yamamoto and Apiwat Wangtano. Both the front two. I always wonder if that's just a little bit of nerves or you're just getting your, your, your position on the you're track. Your, sort of. Yeah, you're looking behind, so make sure that how many riders are still behind you and you know, try to do something about it. Emmanuel Putra. In third, Tanak has made a good move to move up into fourth place. Ayumi Tanak, Wong, Wong Tanan. Looked like he was about to pull level. Oh, the Afif, uh, Hong Leong Yamaha bike, I think. Afif Amran looks disconsolate. I mean, the racing suit gives her all the same as Galang. Sorry, Emmanuel Putra moves into second place. Blue livery, bike, bike number 96. This is where Yamamoto holds the trump, though on this straight line speed. Happy Watt, currently in third stroke, fourth place. Fourth is the answer. Yeah, I think definitely Happy Watt won't, won't let uh, Yamamoto try to get away, you know. He will definitely try to stay on his back, you know, for the last lap. Hunkering down over this double right-hander, Yamamoto went Pong just now. Well, it's Anupap who leads, and look at Api, Api Wat is being dropped from this group of five. Api Wat is falling off the pace. There he is. It's possibly half a second that he's lost. Emmanuel Putra is leading alongside Anupap. Anupap 500, Emmanuel Putra 96, Yamamoto 1. But look at what is happening to Api Wat outside that front five, just coming through your shot. Well, didn't quite get it because there is the gap between one and six. So there's an opportunity here for Yamamoto. Something has happened for Apiwa and Yamamoto goes near, near the pit wall and goes through in third place. Apiwat has dropped down into sixth place. Yeah, I think he's, he was looking down at the bike just now. You know, the back street, I think something may have happened to the machine or something like that. Concern look in the Yamaha. Hits as Yamamoto takes the lead. Emmanuel Putra in the slipstream. Volapong third and look in the distance. Happy Watt is going backwards. Emmanuel Putra is going forwards. Aggressive move from Emmanuel Putra. Yamamoto tracks him but yeah. loses into third place. Intriguing. We're on the last lap. This is where it counts the aggressive. You have, to, you have to be aggressive here now. Yamamoto has a look around the outside. Vorapong. Yeah, he has to go in, in front. And Yamamoto goes yeah. in front. Yeah. Emmanuel Putra goes on the inside again. But Yamamoto shows the aggression. And takes the lead. Apiwat is in sixth. The distance sixth. Anupa, bike 500 in fourth. Emmanuel Putra is doing his best to make it a famous home victory for Indonesia. But this is Yamamoto. Low down, Vorapong forces Emmanuel Putra wide, and that just gives Yamamoto a chance to extend his lead. Yeah, you can see the corner just now, the, the chicken. Yamamoto was aggressive there, he managed to get the lead, and I think this race is going to goes to him. Into the final corner, Yamamoto on the last lap has shown his class. He just needs to make sure he concentrates to the end and it'll be Takehiro Yamamoto who takes the checkered flag first ahead of Vorapong, Sonkyat, Anupop, Emmanuel Putra fifth, Apiwat in sixth. Yeah, like I say, you know, he have to be aggressive, Yamamoto, especially the chicane there. If he doesn't take the lead there, 
I don't think he will win here. So because of his, uh, he aggressive the, at the chicken. So he had a lead, good lead, and uh, that's it. The race belongs to him. Aggression is what you demanded from Takahiro Yanomoto before the race. Aggression is what you got from him. Yes. So happiness in uh, Trick Star Racing. And a very, very happy Takahiro Yamamoto. That is uh, a victory that will give him uh, his second victory of the season. Not only that, Apiwat's mechanical problems means that he will only pick up uh, sixth, sixth place. place. Nine, nine, points. nine points. Confirmation, Yamamoto from Voropong, Somkiat from Thailand coming in ahead of Anupab. That's a great two, three, four for Thailand. Emmanuel Putra disappointing, 0.881 behind the eventual winner. Apiwat falling off, but ahead of Philando Herdian, Pitapong, Tanaka never really threatened. Sitisak makes it four ties in the top 10. Yosuke Nakamura, 11th from Ahmed Afif Amran, who didn't check out, as I yeah, falsely yeah. said. Azroy, Hashim, Henry Ansa, Kupita Krejna out of the points, as was Hammer Minamamoto just outside the points, finishing in the 20th. Now, not finishing was Effendi Rosley, Naoki Takasu.